Hi everyone, today I'm going to be building an ADS-B receiver. This is used to track aeroplanes by receiving the ADS-B data they transmit. In this tutorial we will be using the FlightAware software. So let's begin. Firstly, let's head over to PyMyLifeUp.com or grab the link to a full tutorial in the description below. Find the ADS-B receiver tutorial and now we need to download three things. The first is the PyAware image. Just simply click on here to start the download. Now let's download the formatting tool. So click on the SD Association website link then click the OS that is relevant to you. For me it's Windows. Next click on Accept and it should now start to download. Next let's download the Win32 Disk Imager by clicking on the link. This will take you to the download page. Now just click on download and it should start. Once they have all downloaded we will need to extract the PyAware image. Now let's extract the SD formatter. Once extracted, install the program. Now that is done, let's install the Win32 Disk Imager. So now everything is extracted, let's format the SD card by opening the SD formatter. Now make sure the drive letter is correct. And then click Format. Now it's time to write the PyAware image to the SD card, so open up the Win32 Disk Imager. Now browse to the image we extracted earlier. Again, make sure the drive is correct and then simply click write. It will take a few minutes to install. Once it is all installed, simply safely remove the SD card from the computer. Now connect the TV dongle, Ethernet cord, insert the SD card and plug the power cord in. And we're all good to go. It will take about 5 minutes to boot up and get going. Now if you know the IP of your Pi, you can actually head over to it in the browser and see it tracking flights. Yes, it is that easy to set up. To check it out, simply enter your IP of your Pi followed by the port 8080. For example, mine is 192.168.1.100.8080. Here you can see all the planes that the Pi is picking up. That's about a 100 to 300 mile radius. Now we will need to register our Pi with FlightAware.com. We will need to head over to their website. There is a link on Pi My Life Up you can follow or just simply go to FlightAware.com. We will need to create an account but that is super easy to do. I'll just quickly create mine. You will also get an email that you will need to confirm before you can attach your Pi. After you have done this, head over to the ADSB page and then head down to register the ADSB receiver with FlightAware. On this page, select PiAware and then go claim your receiver. It will automatically detect your Pi if you're on the same network. Now it will take up to about 30 minutes before it will detect the change. If it doesn't detect it, we will manually need to do it. You can do this by opening terminal on the Pi or via SSH. I will do it via SSH. In here, enter sudo pyware-config-user your flightaware username-password. And then enter the password for the account. And now simply restart the pyware service by entering the following command sudo slash etc slash init.d slash pyware restart. Give it a few minutes and your stats should now start to appear on the FlightAware website. The longer your Pi is up, the more stats and graphs that will be available. Your account also gets upgraded to an enterprise account that is worth $90 a month, so it's well worth sharing that data. If you need any more information on how to complete this tutorial, then head over to pymylifeup.com. If you want to leave a comment, drop one below or head over to the website. Looking for something new to do? Check out these awesome 21 Raspberry Pi projects that anyone can do.
Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.